All right, so this meta team right here, it has a very special combo that it tries to do in that it just throws out Whirlpool and then swaps into the Alteric Brew Pump immediately to use Call Pack. That way Whirlpool will do 100% more damage and with the Emperor Crab, it hits really hard. Also, Emperor Crab is just a super solid pet in the meta, so it's great that he is involved in a really hard hitting combo. Alteric Brew Pup is the only pet in the game who's able to apply a 100% damage debuff without locking himself into a move, and that doesn't uh, disappear after just one attack, like Hal does now since they nerfed it to be absorbed by one attack. Call the pack, we'll put up the debuff, and it will stay for a round, so... Uh, if they don't die to the Whirlpool, which is likely, because you really haven't done that much damage with the combo, you can just use a Bite and take more advantage of Call Pack, unless they swap out or something. But the cool thing about this combo is that since Whirlpool only lasts two turns, uh, it's really hard to like avoid because it's so quick. You basically just throw out Whirlpool, swap, and then use Call Pack, and it goes off. Uh, so they have to basically know what you're doing and then plan for it immediately, otherwise they're going to get hit. Uh, and then Vengeful Porcupish is in here as a cleanup, but I didn't really notice this until later on, that he's also beast type and sells the Alteric Brew Pup, so he's probably not the best cleanup in the world because you really do want like pet diversity when you're building a team, and there are other cleanups. I just threw him in here because I was like, I need a cleanup pet. Uh, Vengeful Porcupish pet's good. He's one of the best cleanup pets. I was like, oh crap, I probably should have put something else, like maybe a fiendish imp or... A haunt user, uh, or one of the other many things, because something that could take advantage of the call pack thing as well. I think fiendish imp because immolation call. Uh, well, whatever. Um, uh oh, I forgot to turn off the music. Well, let me set up the combo and do that real quick. So professional. See, I like to turn off the music because I just put in my own. Okay, so hopefully he lets me pull off the combo without too much fanfare. I don't think he would go into Blossoming Ancient and then not throw out sunlight right off the bat. Uh, okay, this should work. We'll do Call Pack and Whirlpool should hit him crazy hard. Oh, he didn't swap! I was so afraid he was going to swap out. <laughs> Uh, instead, he's just going to take a ton of damage. It wasn't enough to one-shot him, but it was enough to do a lot of damage. And he stayed in? What the hell? I am very confused right now. Okay, let's go back into my Emperor Crab in order to fight the Wicked Soul. Even if I get swapped out in the back line, I can just literally swap back in and just heal up with sunny weather. So let's try to go for the heal, even though I know I'm gonna get swapped out. There's no reason to not just go straight back into the crab. Because I can just heal up any damage he can do to me. Especially since I'm pretty sure he's going for immolation. The only thing I might have a problem with is if he would have gone for burns and if one of them actually hit me hard. But that's not the case. And since I already have his problem child taken out, there's not much for me to really worry about. I can just go into my brew pup again and just do an insane whirlpool combo. And it should land no matter what because he can't swap me out and he can't go into Wicked Soul and use Haunt to avoid it either. He's just going to take the damage. Although he's already healed up past his maximum health. I don't think he really cares. Oh. Oh, is this going to be enough to kill the Wicked Soul? Yes, it is. <laughs> And if he's going to try to throw out some dots or something, Emperor Crab can just take those, no problem. Isn't that right, Emperor Crab? Alright, he has this dude again. Uh, if he swaps me out, I really can't do much about that. I'm just going to have to fight him. Alright, Miku. Let's go into Tough and Cuddly. We're going to have to fight this out. Try to stay below the racial as long as possible. Hopefully you can get off two hits without dying. I don't think that's really going to happen though. How long does this debuff stay up for? Just one turn? Come on, survive it! Low hit, low hit, low hit! I might be able to survive a low hit. 
Ah, crit. <laughs> oh, that fucking sucks. <laughs> Emperor Crab is gonna kick the bucket. He doesn't have enough health, so I guess time for Vengeful Porky Pet. I'm gonna have to power ball three times, I think, if I wanna outlast him. Hopefully he tries to refresh Immolation. That's probably the only chance I have at coming back from this. Oh, no, only two power balls just would be enough. Is he gonna try to swap me out? If he does, that's basically a free kill on my Emperor Crab. The fact that he's in the back line doesn't really mean anything. Oh. He went for the swap, and he took damage. I'm still faster than him, though. Don't die! <laughs> Even at a low hit, he still had a really good chance of killing me. Okay, I have weak damage against him, but I have my beast racial active, and I'm faster now. Uh, so yeah, I should be able to kill him. A double hit is more than enough. Okay, so... He didn't swap out in Groot, which is what killed him, but he still had a good chance of coming back, which surprised me. I thought I would be able to win that a lot easier, but I was sweating there a little bit at the end. Oh no, it's this guy again. Uh, only reason I won last time is because he played badly. Hopefully he does that again, so I'm able to do something. Okay, I'm going to predict a switch right off the bat. Hopefully he doesn't go for an immolation and try to fake me out. So, to do the switch, what does it switch it out to? And forces an opponent's pet. Maybe it'll swap back into it if I do this guy. Oh, he got me. He went for immolation first. Oh, okay. He's uh, fighting me. I'm... I don't know what to do. <laughs> if I really wanted to take him seriously, I would have used Tough and Cuddly, but... Uh, he's trying to fight me for some reason. Okie dokes. I'm very confused by this tactic. I was basically just waiting for a swap out to happen the whole time. Okay, now let's go for a snap, just in case he doesn't swap out again, because I have no idea what he's doing! <laughs> Why would he just stay in and then not swap? Why is he in Wicked Soul right now? This is so confusing. Is he going to try to heal up in the back line or something? I mean, okay. Is he going to try to fight my Emperor Crab? Why would he try to fight my Emperor Crab with his wicked soul? Man, I just can't get a read on this guy. He's not playing conventionally and it's really messing me up. Oh, okay, so he used Whirlpool on the turn that it was going to go off and used Haunt to dodge it. Gotcha, that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to just stick with Whirlpool and literally just stay on my Emperor Crab. Since it looks like he's not swapping me out yet, or maybe he's gonna swap in now, now that he has photosynthesis and sunny weather out. I mean, usually you throw out sunny weather first, and then photosynthesis, that way it heals up the whole time in the back line, but it doesn't really matter in this case, since he took damage. And uh, now he has his almost dead nether imp in the back row, he's staying in for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna use his sunny day to heal up. And looks like he swapped in. That was a nice swap. See, I guess he kind of knows what he's doing because he was able to swap in right here. His fiendish imp is gonna die. Even if he swaps me out right here because my Hamlet can just attack him. How much is he gonna heal up right here though? 155 damage. Oh, dang, that's enough to actually survive a power ball. Oh, no, it. Oh, I have my beast racial going. Whew, good thing sunny weather's out. I don't think I should be below 50% health right now. Okay, let's go back into my Emperor Crab since he has a good matchup against this dude. Gonna use my heal off cooldown. That way I can gain advantage of this amazing health crap as well. 
Okay, Wicked Soul, he basically just held onto his haunt in order to dodge Whirlpool, which was pretty smart. So I'm just going to snap him, and I'll apply Whirlpool on his turn of immunity if he doesn't use haunt. Oh, he went for a heal. Okay, he should be going for haunt this turn. I'm not going to try to predict it, though. I'm just going to play it straight. There we go. I don't know why he's swapping out right here. <laughs> I do have enough damage to kill his Blossoming Ancient with my Emperor Crab, so I'm not worried. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Look at him, predicting everything, going into Wicked Soul to let him die uh, during the turn that Whirlpool's gonna go off. Yeah, let's just heal up that tiny bit of damage. Man, those are some great predictions right there. And his play is throwing me off. Like, it's not totally bad because he's doing really well with throwing me off, but... It's more like it's an unconventional play. I wasn't expecting Fina Jim to just kill my Alteric Brew Pup. Like, he got me in the prediction. I predicted a swap out immediately. Because I know this guy knows what I'm trying to do. And then he just killed it. And I couldn't do anything, because if I set up anything, he would have just swapped me out. So I just had to go for damage. And he was able to take me out. But then everything else he's been doing so far, besides, you know, dodging Whirlpool with his haunt, that was pretty neat. Uh, and I guess I just have to slowly kill his Blossoming Ancient with all of his heals. All of my damage is like single target nukes. Plus I have strong damage against him and I can heal up for quite a bit as well. While he just does tiny bits of damage and he has a tiny little shield. Which isn't really a big deal for me. So killing him is just going to take a matter of a couple of turns. Is he not going to refresh sunlight? That's just going to make my job a little bit easier, Curly. There he goes. He took off. Yeah, he knew he couldn't beat me. Alright, unconventional tactics. He played a lot better this time around. <laughs> and it confused the hell out of me because he didn't play the way I expected him to.